Talk by Father Jeremy Habirimana. Jesus Christ will be announced freely until the consummation of the times. Saturday in the seventh week of Easter. Readings First reading He lived in Rome, preaching the kingdom of God. Reading the Book of Acts of the Apostles 28, 16 to 20, 30 to 31. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. Three days later, he called together the leaders of the Jews. When they had gathered, he said to them, My brothers, Although I had done nothing against our people or our ancestral customs, I was handed over to the Romans as a prisoner from Jerusalem. After trying my case the Romans wanted to release me, because they found nothing against me deserving the death penalty. But when the Jews objected, I was obliged to appeal to Caesar, even though I had no accusation to make against my own nation. This is the reason, then, I have requested to see you and to speak with you, for it is on account of the hope of Israel that I wear these chains. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. Responsorial Psalm Psalm 10 Response The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord is in his holy temple, the Lord's throne is in heaven. His eyes behold, his searching glance is on mankind. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. The Lord searches the just and the wicked, the lover of violence he hates. For the Lord is just, he loves just deeds, the upright shall see his face. The just will gaze on your face, O Lord. Gospel This is the disciple who has written all this. And his testimony is true. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to John 21 20 to 25. Peter turned and saw the disciple following whom Jesus loved, the one who had also reclined upon his chest during the supper and had said, Master, who is the one who will betray you? When Peter saw him, he said to Jesus, Lord, what about him? Jesus said to him, What if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? You follow me. So the word spread among the brothers that that disciple would not die. But Jesus had not told him that he would not die, just what if I want him to remain until I come? What concern is it of yours? It is this disciple who testifies to these things and has written them, and we know that his testimony is true. There are also many other things that Jesus did, but if these were to be described individually, I do not think the whole world would contain the books that would be written. Talk Dear brothers, he who calls each one by name to follow him, he who loves all, seeks his salvation and gives himself up to save each one, he who takes care of them, he who gives them freedom of expression and pushes them to talk about him, Jesus Christ, our Lord, our love, our joy, our joy, our peace, our greatness, our glory, our beauty, comes before us through his word to continue leading us lovingly to his glory. In the first reading we see Paul imprisoned in Rome. He is not ashamed of his chains, but continues to announce his love, proclaiming his love, Jesus Christ. The love of Jesus Christ is a wonderful thing. 
St. Paul saw it clearly, the fact of being incarcerated was a means. To announce Jesus Christ to those in Rome, Jesus himself had revealed it to him. That is why I persevered speaking of him. This reading is the end of the book of the Acts of the Apostles that ends by saying, and teaching what refers to the Lord Jesus Christ freely, without hindrance. Even in jail, the author of the book insists on freedom, without hindrance. Because despite being in jail, if one is a Christian, one is free to express oneself, to love, to forgive, no one can block your Easter joy. St. Paul was full of all that, so he spoke freely announcing the Liberator, Jesus Christ. It is as if the last words of this book had traced the whole history of the Church announcing the Gospel in the midst of difficulties, trials, but with freedom and always announcing Jesus Christ himself. To us, Christians, nobody gives us freedom because it is Jesus himself, and to him no one can take it from us. Although they imprison us, they cannot arrest him, he is the victor of death, who came out of the grave. Therefore, being members of his body, we have that freedom that the world cannot imprison. That freedom to love, to forgive, that heart full of hope, of joy of the Holy Spirit, the peace that Jesus Christ gives us, Jesus Christ risen from the dead. Blessed are those who have found Jesus Christ and have been guided by his Holy Spirit. At the end of the Easter season, it is time to ask Jesus Christ that all the gifts we have received in Easter be for us a pledge of eternal salvation, not only for us, but also for all the people we meet. That, like St. Paul, we are an instrument of proclamation of Jesus Christ for all we meet. Jesus Christ calls us to do it as he called John and Peter, follow me. Jesus Christ ends this Easter time by saying, Follow me. On the path of life, on the path of peace, on the path of mercy, on the path of freedom, on the path of true joy, on the path of glory, on the road from death to sin, on the path of Easter glory. Follow me. May the Holy Spirit awaken us so that we follow him. Jesus Christ, our freedom, our joy, our joy, our love. Come, Holy Spirit. Glory to you, Lord Jesus. Immaculate Heart of Mary, protect us. Our Lady of Carmen, pray for us. Jesus Christ be praised.